I can't believe we're here. This is where it all started. The beginnings of the skyscraper. Hey, Namaskar everyone. How are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're going to stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Now, as always, welcome back means we are on another adventure. And that also means that you're going to want to know where we are and what we're doing. Well, I mentioned that we are where it all started. The skyscraper. And as you can tell behind me, Oh, you don't see no skyscrapers. That's because I'm not talking about the skyscraper buildings. We're talking about something totally different. But we'll get to that uh, further into the video. But we are in Youngstown, Ohio, the city of you. What are we doing in Y-Town today? Well, I figured, and it's a nice day out today. It, it is, you can tell I'm in a t-shirt. So it, it's pretty nice. Uh, a little windy but pretty nice but we I, I do a lot of videos on Youngstown uh, we do a lot you know on Mill Creek Park and I take walks through the city and such like that and we're always talking about the history of Youngstown I figure today why not why not visit a place where we could actually see some of the history and that's what we're gonna do today we are going to visit the Tyler History Center. Actually, that says the Tyler Mahoning Valley History Center. Uh, short, the Tyler History Center. Um, not, a, not, not a big museum, but it does pack a lot of punch. Kind of like some of the uh, some of the boxers from Youngstown. You know, Boom Boom, Pavlik, uh, Craig Richardson, but he was he was known better as the Flea. But uh, yeah, this museum packs packs quite a bit of punch inside there but uh if you're ready for today's adventure i suggest you get off the couch you get ready and let's go we are right here right here that is fantastic Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. look at all of them i think they're ready to kick my ass hardened saliva you're okay you're okay for watching my channel. Why are Jesus, God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess. I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at. Uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh shit! That's why I tell you, take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malange. Yeah, it's a totally excellent day out today. It's I, I'm so glad to just be wearing a t-shirt. But since I'm over here and it's I haven't parked in this parking lot uh at all i never i never park over here i think i had to pay three bucks to park over here i don't really like to pay for parking when i'm downtown but uh i figure my truck's better over here but this building right here you can see the tyler mahoning valley history center and i, I will say one thing right off the bat let me get here so i gotta be where the sun's behind me um this museum is also operate is operated by the Mah uh, the Mahoning uh, Historical Society. Um, I've done a video on the Arms Family Museum, okay. And if you do visit the, the the Arms Family Museum, that ticket will get you admission to the Tyler History Center. Um, and I believe vice versa. I believe if you get here, then you can go up to the. Uh, um, arms family museum so very cool two for one you cannot beat that i wish that the industrial museum of uh, industry and labor would be included in that i don't know if that's operated by somebody totally different it it, it must be because it's not included uh but yeah this we're going to go in here and we're going to check this out but dig that right there the good humor and there's a that's almost like an easter egg right there on the side of the building. 
hope you can see this because that sun is is in a weird spot it's hazy whatever but uh good humor that was harry burt's business i believe he started that in 1920 if i'm correct but yeah that's how cool is that right there you see that stick that ice cream on a stick he invented that um and when he invented that because he was a confectioner he had candy he had ice cream now when he invented when he invented the chocolate coating of the ice cream he gave it to his daughter and his daughter loved it but it was messy and then his son came up with the idea that put the stick in the ice cream and freeze it he had another he had another invention that he did and uh so his son was like use the stick from that one put in there because it, and it was a, a ice cream a, a, a you know covered ice cream lollipop is what it really was but yeah that's uh that's like the easter egg on the side of the building because this building right here was his actually it was his actual business this is where he made the ice cream and the candy at a storefront and uh yeah so this was this was the actual building of Harry Burt. And I show you, there should be a sign over here. Yeah, there's one over here. Right here. Yeah, it should, uh, it'll tell. Yeah, right here. Harry Burt, right there. Invented the ice cream on a stick. 325 West Federal Street, 1921. And then also the radio company that talks about the radio company, the Ross Radio Company. But yeah, this actually is the building. Let me let me go back and uh, kind of get you a view on this. And I, I want to say there's three floors on here. There's a library up top. Um, I've really only been in here one time, to be honest with you. But there it is right there, the Tyler History Center. And I, I'm not sure how much it costs to get in here. I'll tell you when I, I tell you when I get my admission ticket. But uh, there should be a car in here when you first go in. We'll check that out. But yeah, there's the Paramount. Check out the cars. Okay, and I, I think I see it. I think I see it in. And yeah, I think this this week. They're having a cookie table event in here. But uh, let's uh, let's check this out. There it is right there, the Tyler History Center. Okay, so it was seven bucks to get in here. And as soon as you walk in, they actually have that on a magnetic, so they'll see you coming and they'll open the door for you. And I'll walk in here and we'll look around and, I, and I'll show you their gift shop. Uh, at, at the end, we'll walk around first, but then I'll go in there. But right off the bat, when you first walk in here, this was actually built downtown Youngstown. They had they had a quite a few they had a few different uh, uh, factories down here, but this is a 1905 Mahoning touring car built by the Mahoning Motors Company. This was this was like that brass era of everything. Now I don't know when we go on, we might see something about Avani. Uh, in here, I'm not sure, but I, I, I Avani, they they came to Youngstown, uh, I think 1987 to like 1991. They come out of South Bend, and uh, so Avani was also made here in Youngstown. But yeah, look at look at the detail of this. 1905, and it's quiet in here. Yeah, if you've never been. Uh, to this museum maybe you've been to the arms museum um look at that down there check that out and it's driven down there yeah i think this is yeah right there look at the thing mahoning motor company youngstown ohio but yeah if you if you've been to the arms museum and you've never been here this is definitely a, a museum that you want to get to like i said we we talk a lot of history but we really don't see a lot of history on my channel a lot so i figured we'll come down here and, and we'll look at some. 
But there we go. 1905 Mahoning Touring Car. And here's this if you want to pause it and read it. You are more welcome to do so. It's so nice when you come to a museum and you're uh, you're kind of like by yourself in here. It, it's you, you get to you get to look and you're not you know making anybody rush or anything. But uh, here's a little section. Sports Row. This must be about television days the era uh the race for tv i see a w up oh, she turned the lights on for me there's a wkbn right there must be some kind of boom right there yeah look at this yeah wfmj and i always like looking at some i'm not going to stick my fingers behind the uh railing but i always like to look at you know the, the emblems and stuff and, and the plates that they put on everything. And that's even for bridges, too. That's actually what it was right here. I was right. It's a microphone. Boom. Boom. But, yeah, even on bridges, I like to see the plaques and stuff like that. So I think that's, like, an important detail. And who do we got here? I was just I was just talking. I just mentioned Boom Boom. And there he is. Right there. Granny's go getter. Every time I see those, I think they used to. I think they used to do actually here. Um, they used to do soapbox here. Uh, the race was held on East Midlothian Boulevard. I've never, I've never seen a soapbox race in Youngstown. Um, I was in Akron a lot, and I've, I've seen the Akron uh, soapbox track, which is really cool, uh, really steep hill in Akron. But yeah, I want to show you a little bit of everything here. Here we go, right here, Idora Park. Now, Idora Park started, Idora Park started in 18, 1899. It was actually a trolley park. Uh, they all start out like those picnic areas over time. It became a full-blown amusement park. 1984, I believe, it it, uh, it caught on fire, which was really sad because it was it was an awesome park. It was kind of reminded me like of Waldemere now. You know what I mean? Um, if it was still around. But yeah, here's the Wildcat car. Look at that. That's an original car from Idora Park of the Wildcat. Man, is that awesome. And I believe there's some tickets. Look at that. The roll of tickets from Idora Park. And when I come to these ones like this, I'm going to do that so you can pause it and read it. But, uh, yeah. Built 1930 the Wildcat. Yeah, 1984 was the fire at Idora Park. And I don't think there's nothing there anymore. If you go if you go past um they it because I, I I mentioned it in my video before. I'm not gonna go through the whole spill or anything like that. Um a church ended up buying it. Um people do go in there and trespass. I have known bef in in the earlier days that they did, they would press charges and stuff like that. Uh, but I wish, I wish they would still open that section so we could all walk th through that and just enjoy. Cause you, hey, I remember this is where the train used to go. Ah, this is where you know the picnics were. This is where that was, cause it was really awesome. I, I'm telling you that the dark rides, that the 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 wacky shack, that plane ride, it was it was it was awesome. But. Uh, yeah, I guess, see right here, let's see. Okay, this is, yep, here. So you can, do. there's the wildcat right there. Look at that. Oh man, I remember all this stuff too. Yeah, I remember that. 
There it is right there. That view. I remember that view. Let's see what else they got here. Just to, here's the rides. Let's see if I can show you some of the rides. There's the old cars. I don't really remember those. Um, yeah, the Kitty Land. That's that's what I'll tell you here in a minute. There's the there's the rocket rides right there. It was cool because there was a French fry stand underneath this. You would walk up and get in there. Yeah, see right there. There was like the the fries under here, and you could walk. They would it would that was like a landing right there. There's Looney Land in the back, the Wacky Shack back there. Tilt to Whirls over here. The Roundup, the Turtle Tilt to Whirl again. Turbo. So yeah, you can come here and uh, relive that memory. But what I wanted to say here, um, here's a car right here. Okay, now there is, uh, if I've I've actually seen the display in there, that's why I didn't want to say anything yet. There's a place we have here in Youngstown. It's address is Gerard. Sweet Memories, Vintage Teas, and Candies. Really cool shop to have in the area. Uh, it is pretty much on the crossroads of Belmont Avenue and uh, uh, Trumbull Hill. Okay. Really cool lady in there. Uh, I actually did a video on there. I did a walkthrough. We talked about some of the history and, 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 and what she does at that store go check that video out but in her store she actually has um the soldier and uh if, if you've been to idora park and you remember you know exactly what i'm talking about they were the soldiers that stood right before you got into kitty land she has one of those and i believe she has the pokey pig uh, it's not a real one it's a replica of pokey pig like the trash cans which is really cool and also another thing i'm going to put the links of some of the things i'm talking about in the description uh the idora park experience uh there's a couple jim and tony that run and it's it's only a couple times out of the out of the month if that um he has a museum they collected all kind of stuff from idora it's in Canfield, um, and I'll even post that link in there too. But uh, they wrote some books about Idora Park and such. But yeah, really, really, really cool. But check that out, man. Youngstown Warner Theater. Yeah, I missed the old signage. And those are the seats. Man, the history. There's some more uh, radio. Look at this right here. That's their mascot. How cool is that? Look at that. That's something you find at one of those uh, like toy shows or antique shows. Little peep. They used to carry that stuff around. But it's funny because I remember though. <laughs> I remember the video recorders being that big. And same thing here. You can. Uh, click on this and it'll show you some different history there's uh must be a cooking show or something right going on I was looking like it that was before my time i guess right there but yeah grizzly peat show saint elizabeth hospital actually it's uh See all this, all this. When I when I see something like Saint Elizabeth, it brings up. I I do a lot of videos. Again, like I said, I do a lot of videos on Youngstown, and uh, go watch my video uh, with with the uh, Jesus statues around Youngstown. And there is one at the Saint Elizabeth Hospital. It's an old old nurse's uniform. Crazy, right? It's just the history. Youngstown carriage. There's a wheel. And a leather, a leather license plate. 
And here we go here. The Boardman Plaza. And that's still here. The Boardman Plaza is still around. Um, there's right here. Mark the entrance to the plaza. I don't think that plaza really changed all that much. Um, I remember it. Uh, even as a you know, as a kid, I remember it being the way it is now. Different stores and such. I know they had a, then you know, I, I don't know, probably early, mid 80s maybe, I don't know, like Children's Palace was there. Uh, yeah, it, real, it, it's, it's kind of like been the same uh, since I can remember as it was. But yeah, if you look at some of these though, I think it actually looks cooler back in the day. You know, some of the... Or no, these ain't the plaza. No, this is Liberty Plaza. Liberty Plaza. Struthers Plaza. Here it is. I was going to say, I think it still looks... Look look at how crazy that is. But all the cool cars in there. But yeah, I think I always think the older stores and the, and the writing and everything look way better uh, than they do today. Um, they made designs. Uh, there's the McGuffey Plaza, which is no longer there any, uh, anymore. The only thing that is there, I'm trying to see if I see some. I see it's Ohio. Um, the only, the only thing I think that is at the McGuffey Plaza, still standing, is Tiny's. I think that's the only thing there. Yeah, Tiny's and in, in there. I mean, there's the, uh, the. Uh, there is, yeah, there is the gas station there too, the Quick Mart, whatever that's there. But but Tiny's is actually in the, the, the actual park. You know, that's the only thing that's left. Harry Royal, McKelvey's. And they're turning this into apartments, I believe. Now, that building. But yeah, look at all the, just look at the, the signage, you know, that they they have the architecture the writing the fonts organized crime yes I don't think many people know when they're uh, if they're not from Youngstown Youngstown uh, had a big mafia um, background to it what's that right there oh the jungle in but yeah Youngstown uh, Youngstown wasn't a big city, per se, like Cleveland or Pittsburgh. And they weren't big enough to, have, like, have their own, like, actual mafia here. Um, so you had, you had uh, like, uh, uh, you had Naples and Strollo. Um, and, and they were, they were more of the, uh, the Pittsburgh mafia that was trying to get Youngstown... And then you had the Carabia brothers, um, and they were more of uh, they were more of the Cleveland sect of the mafia. And they were just this was a this was a big mess here in Youngstown during the day, or you know, yeah, during that time. But uh, yeah, the car bombs and and I'm trying to see if they had any any names of anybody here. But yeah, let's see. We can press that button. But yeah, named Joey Naples, Lenny Strollo, Charlie the Crab. You probably know that name. Just one of many labels the city of Youngstown yep. has worn over the years. Steel Town was the most noble. It Crime Town. The essence of this community. Its strong ethnic mix produced a tough blue-collar class of people who worked hard by day and played just as hard by night. To liken a small city like Youngstown to a major one might engender a burst of civic pride. But the analogy to Chicago was not meant to be complimentary. Well, yeah, they called, they called Youngstown Little the Chicago. Murderous. It was Crime Town USA. Big time, big time crime here. Big time crime. Car bombs, uh, people made unalive. I'm, I'm waiting for them to, to, to mention some of the names here, but yeah, 
Come here and check this out. We don't want to stay and watch the whole thing, but uh Yeah, very very interesting. But I tell you what, I, I I'm in a lot of groups, like on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, with the Youngstown. And I I remember one time reading something somebody mentioned something about the crime in Youngstown that it was a big mafia a mafia place and somebody you know yeah right 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 Youngstown ain't you know crap whatever they were talking that's easy to say this stuff behind you know a computer screen but if you don't know the history of something I, I never say it I just I I I, re I read this stuff and I let it alone as much as I want to right back on some of the comments and stuff I just don't but it's in it's interesting man to to go to some of these cities and stuff I always say go go to the cemetery to to learn a history of a of a uh, of a city or town because you'll see some of the names and such like that you will but but this right here it, it it's showing the history I mean that Youngstown was a it, we were right in the middle of crime and it wasn't that it wasn't that long ago this was like murder capital of the world uh, is what you know what they called it yeah I'll uh, what's that all the fire in there. David Todd again what did I just get done telling you go to uh, if you want to know the history Go to the local cemeteries. You can find his. Uh, you can find him at, at the Oak Hill Cemetery, and I, I also did a video on that. So go back and check some of these videos that I did, because there's a little bit more history uh, in them as well. Different culture. Look at these dolls. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, showing you the different uh, different cultures that came here to Youngstown. Old model of maybe what a home would have looked like back then. Surveying tools. And uh, look who we got here. It's John Young. Youngstown. Yep, old John Young. I like that painting of him actually right there. That's pretty neat. That's a nice painting. Got some arrowheads. Because there were native Indians here. We'll try grinding with this mortar and pestle. So yeah, look at that. They even have hands-on stuff. So you put your grain in there and but, yeah. Pretty neat, huh? There's Hillman. James Hillman. There you go without that glare. Just, yeah, just, you don't, man, it's awesome. See, there's a lot of people, too, and, and I always get discouraged, not discouraged, but I always, I'll say sad, but when people start talking, there ain't nothing to do in this town. This town's crap. Just, in, in, with any town, not, not here, just with any town in general. Go out to your museums and learn about where you come from, where you were born or whatever. You'd really be surprised because... As, as many people that I hear can't stand Youngstown, oh, I hate Youngstown, I can't, you know what I mean? There's nothing here. You'd really be surprised if you delve in and you find out w what your town was, you know, what, where it came from, what started this town. You, a lot of history, man. A lot of history. William Rand. 
Let's see, this art is from Hannah Wick's house on East Federal Stick. So yeah, wow. The art's from the home. How cool is that? The Wicks, some big names. Yeah, and, and, and I'm telling you, a lot of these names, Wicks and, and Hillman and Rayan and all that, uh, you can find them and you can find some, you know, descendants and stuff at your local cemeteries. Because the old cemeteries here, the old cemeteries pretty much everywhere were, were built as parks to enjoy. They weren't just to go there and sulk or whatever. They were there to go have picnics and enjoy and remember. So yeah, very, very interesting. But uh, what is this right here? This is the good humor story of Harry Burt. There he is, Harry Burt, he was born in Cortland. Now, um, I'm gonna, here, you can pause that and read it. Um, but I did wanna tell you also another, another fun fact of Youngstown. Youngstown had the very first ice cream trucks. See, did you know that? No, you might not have. Interesting fact. Fun fact of Youngstown, Ohio. We had the very first ice cream trucks. All right. Let's see what's back here. This should be. This should be about the Ursuline sisters back here. This. This may be a revolving. Um, display, because this wasn't here the last time I was here. So maybe this is one of those rooms how like uh, some of the museums are here, they change them out. But yeah, this is, I believe, all about the Ur Ursuline sisters. So, pause it, read it. Show you some of the pictures here. I really, I really like that right there if i had an old house i would have pictures like this all around it all the old pictures of youngstown wow yeah they have so you can sit here you can uh on the one hand they wanted to do what christians had always done the disciples of jesus but they were also followers of saint angela daughters of saint so you can angela, watch your little saint angela movies at a time similar to ours there was war women were not i'll given write that down in a little bit so she just lived ordinary life and brought her action. yeah so i don't know you know hopefully you come down here and visit i don't know how long this is going to stay here or if it's permanent i, I i'm not sure Maybe it is going to be permanent. Look at this over here. What year is that? It doesn't say what year it is. Unless it's 1923. Is that 1923? I always like church during Christmas time because I, I like singing. I like singing the Christmas songs. Yeah, 1929. 1953. See, they're all smiling because they're not getting hit by rulers on their hands by the sisters. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they did. I, I always hear stories of that that they hit, hit your knuckles with the with the. Uh, <laughs> with the rollers. There's uh, the clothing that was adapted over time. So, not, uh, I don't see me, I, I, I like the older, I like the older ones. Got some uh, goods that were made by some of the sisters. Yeah, this is pretty nice back here. This is this is new. Oh, okay. 
Hmm, look at that elevator. I don't know if we can take that one or not. I don't think so, but I don't know. Maybe it is. But uh, yeah, that has, it's an Otis too. Look at that. That is awesome, I love it. The old push button, Otis. They're Ursuline Sisters of Youngstown. Those are nice. So let me pause it, read it. Pause it, read it. I do like those. I I like that one. There's another. Uh, did we see that right there? No. Okay, and on the back it has the picture of Youngstown, 1960 aerial view of Youngstown in the background there. And I hear they're still talking about the uh, Mafia. But here's some more. I can tell this is about Harry Burt because there's Harry right there in the back. I'm going to pa uh, pause these and, and, and read them if you want. It tells the information right here. Oh, it's the, well, this is the same as the other side, but there's more, more relics in here. But yeah, what uh, see right here is town, right there, 325 West Federal Street, and that's where we are right now, and we are inside. We are inside Harry Burt's business. Look at that. That must be like for two picks or so. I don't know what that was. Okay, let's go up here and check this out. Check these. Check these out. Wow. Let's turn around and check the floor out. Yeah, look at that. See? Told you, not a really big museum. But it packs a punch. It, it, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of history, historic items in there. And what is this? Because this looks really, really neat. Look at the designs on that. switch on there I don't really know what that is though to be honest with you is there something I'm looking for something uh, see so when they have different events that must be uh, something but look I like these old doors too uh, my grandparents had one you could open open just the top and have the bottom open or open at all let's go see what I don't know what that was this is where they were Ross radio yeah look you can tell yeah it's a store and here's the steps Right there. That's great. That's great. That was cool. And these, John, John Youngwin, founder of Pengstown. I remember when they were painting these uh, penguins. They were all over Youngstown. They were painting them, and it, you can you can still see them now. But uh, yeah, I remember just when they first did that. That was a while back too. I forget what year, but yeah, they had different artists paint different penguins. 
and uh, put them around the city. Like even has the Youngstown cuffs on. Got his pocket watch in there. Let's go check this out up here. Uh, looks like they're getting ready for the uh, cookie table over here. I don't know where the scroll is. Maybe it's up here. I don't know. There's the banquet room. There's some of the room. Kitchen back there. I'm looking for the uh, scroll. I don't know if I've been up here or not. Oh, wow. Have a little popcorn thing going on. Um, I, I I don't know where I am. I have actually have to look for the scroll for that the Ryan scroll. Okay, I asked somebody because I thought I ah uh, here it is. That used to be the in the old Ryan high school in the uh the auditorium hallway. Look at that. I think it's like, what, six foot tall? 65 foot long, I believe it was. Because there's the hole. There it is right there in the hole. Yeah, this was, uh, I think, 1958, 1959. This was painted by uh, the art teacher and uh, some of his students. Here it is right here. Yeah, John Benninger. Yeah, 58 and 59. And yeah, look, there they are. Painting it right there. But yeah, they took this, uh, they took it off, kind of restored it and put it here. How cool is that? Population 1920, 132,000. Get a better picture of that. Wow. And what's this over here? Grandma's cookie jar. Kind of reminds me of the Canfield Fair though, but yeah, it's uh, has all the cookies. Some Buckeyes. See some cannoli, it sells, chocolate chip. Got the clothespin cookies. And the hustle and the bustle <laughs> of Youngstown. Right there. But yeah, nice day out today. Nice day. So uh, let's go back downstairs and uh, see what else we can get into. What do you think of that ball right there? Yeah. It's all restored. It's awesome. Still talking about uh, the mafia. Our 1905 Mahoning touring car again. So yeah, that was uh, the inside of there. See, the first floor is mainly where everything's at. The second floor 
uh, has some stuff on it and you can go all the way up and you can see the old Rand scroll which is really cool I think that's really awesome but let's go check the uh, let's go check the gift shop out and we'll see what they have in here so they got all the books the cookie table uh, there's Isley's right there and Isley's if you didn't know was in the old U-Haul building uh, up right before the Mahoning Bridge and uh, they're still around but but the headquarters is in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania now but Isley's um, Isley's and you see that cone right there that is a skyscraper cone right there and Sam Jennings was the one who invented the skyscraper cone right here in Youngstown, Ohio at the Isley's plant. So when I was talking about skyscrapers at my uh, intro, that's what I was talking about was the skyscraper cone right there. So yep, chip chop ham, Klondike's, and I think they had a, I think way back when, they had a contest or something. If you found a Klondike with a with a pink center, like with with the pink ice cream, you like get a free Klondike or something. So they had like some contests going on and stuff like that. But yeah, Isley's they started. I think I think he started in Mansfield, Ohio. So it's a it's a it's an Ohio based company. Isley's was. Um, but I think Pittsburgh has, it's the only place where it's at right now, you know, Pittsburgh. So they, they lay claim to Isley's, but started here in Youngstown. Didn't start here in Youngstown, but here in Youngstown is where, or Ohio anyway, is where Isley started. Look at that, I've never seen that book before. That's really cool. Yeah, check those out right there. Got the plates, that's the downtown. And then on the monument. Harry Burt. Some more books. There's John Young down there. Got some different postcards, and uh, these right here, these shirts, is what I was gonna talk to you about. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, look, look at this. There's we were there's Pavlik right there. So two people did. I'm. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna see the flea anywhere in here. But there's Pavlik, and we seen Boom Boom in there. Two boxers. I mentioned at the intro got some different uh postcards here a lot of idora park lanterns mill and that looks like it's before the restoration silver bridge warner theater got some nice postcards there and the good humor for really neat oh there's uh Isley's right up there uh these shirts though I have to do a shout out all these shirts uh these these pop bottles I think I think she might have the book um I mentioned sweet memories vintage teas and candies uh Linda owns that store in You'll find these kind of shirts at her shop. And like, this is, this is not even like, uh, 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 this might, this is like this much <laughs> of what she has in the store. She has a lot of crazy, just crazy candy, crazy drinks, vintage games, 
just her, she makes her own t-shirts yeah that's she has her own company that does that and uh yeah definitely go check the video out and definitely go check her store out but i dig that but uh yeah i i dig the the cookie table but yeah let's um let's head out we'll do our uh we'll do our outro hey have a good day you're welcome Okay, and there, there's the hours right there, Tuesday through Sunday. There's the link. I'm going to put it in the description anyway. But, uh, yeah, how cool is that, right? Pretty awesome. So, we didn't just talk about it, we got to see it. Um, now, I didn't see no Isleys. Let me get that out of that sun. I didn't see no Isleys section in there. I was, I was looking for like the actual Isley skyscraper cone scoop because the, the the skyscraper like I said it was an invented down here and it wasn't it wasn't the round ball ice cream it was just a long like you know just a long uh, tower skyscraper of ice cream and it was invented right here but uh, and the good humor Youngstown Inventor of skyscraper cones. Inventor of the ice cream on a stick. Inventor, of, or not inventor, but we had the first ice cream trucks. And uh, so you know, Peanut Bridge is right over there. And we were in the building of Harry Burt. Uh, the Harry Burt Company is where he made his ice cream and stuff in his storefront so that was that was really awesome yeah i was looking around i i uh, she was on the phone i would ask her but i didn't see no isley's like section in there unless i missed it maybe i'll go back and i'll be like oh there it was i don't know but uh a little bit of everything in there that is youngstown so i wanted like i said day off today i kind of wanted to do something local and i figured let me come down here to the tyler history center again if you go to the Arms Family Museum and you uh, pay for your admission, you can come down here and do this museum and vice versa. So two for one, cannot beat it. Again, I did mention uh, Sweet Memories. And, and when I, again, I have to say, I don't get sponsored by anybody. And if I say something in my videos that I like, if I'm doing a shout out to something, for something, about something, it's because I genuinely like it. And her store is awesome. So you gotta go check it out. Go check out the video as well. Um, but I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna grab something to drink on the way home, chill out. Enjoy the day because it is nice out. You hear motors, you hear motorcycles in the background. Everybody's out. You can't see it, but this, it, there's a bunch of people out here. Uh, it's pretty dang warm for February. But I'm glad you came on today's adventure. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the channel, leave a comment. I do read all the comments. I really do. And until I see you on the next adventure, wherever that may be, better than like that.